fire. I'm, I'm just looking at these different names I've been given, and I'm trying to figure out which one I really am. Oh no, you have so many stickers on you. These can't be good for you. Let's get all of these off. No, 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 wait. If you pull off some of these, it's going to rip off my, my fur, and it will hurt, and it could leave a scar. Okay, then let's just slow down here. All these labels say, hello, my name is... But they all say something different. Yes, I'm rereading them all to help me try and figure out who I really am. You mean that you keep these stickers on you and try and figure out who you are? That must be so confusing. Look at this one, for example. This one says, hello, my name is Loser. What about this one? Over here says, Hello, my name is Goalie? And should I even ask about the one that says, Hello, my name is Cupcake? <laughs> what is that? Oh, well, yeah, the one that says, Hello, my name is Loser, came from back when I was in first grade. And I entered a spelling bee contest and didn't win. Okay, go on. The one that says, Hello, my name is Goalie, that's from second grade when I played soccer. And the position I played was Goalie. And do you still play? Oh, no. I just tried that for one season. Oh, I think I'm starting to see what's going on. But what about this one that says cupcake? Um, well, that one's just still a little bit embarrassing. Um, see, my granny used to call me cupcake when I was little because I was small and cute and sweet. Well, you're still small cute and sweet but well, I outgrew that name before I started kindergarten no oh uh, okay but I still see a lot more stickers on you oh no turn around for me well and see that's why I'm trying to figure out who I am really this one says Boy Scout, this one says clumsy, this one says nice, this one says scary, this one says grandson, this one says fifth grader. So many people say so many things about me, and some are true, and some are not. So I just don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, so let's talk about this for a minute. I understand why you're so confused, but let me see how I can help you understand who you truly are. You can help me with that? Well, I know somebody that can. You'll hear a lot of different names during your life, oh no. These are called identities. Some can be good, some can be bad, some can uh, be true, and some cannot be true. First, looks at, let's look at the ones that you've shown me so far. Hello, my name is Loser. You told me that you got that label back in first grade when you lost the spelling bee. And what grade are you in now, Oh no? I'm in fifth grade. And have you ever won anything since first grade? Well, sure. I won my brother in checkers yesterday. I got a blue ribbon in last year's science fair. And I just won a BMX race that I entered. Oh, wow. So, oh no, is it fair to keep the label of loser on you? Well, I guess not. And you're still wearing that label over here that says goalie. Are you still a goalie, oh no? No, I told you, I only played for one season. And you said you outgrew the cupcake name, right? Yes, back in kindergarten. <laughs> So why are you still wearing all these labels, oh no? Well, I thought if that's what people said about me, that's what I had to be. I've tried saying different things about myself, but those stickers never seem to stay on, like the ones others label me with. Okay, so you have lots of stickers on you about what other people say, 
and you have some about what you say. But do you have any about what God says about you? What God says about me? Where do I find that out? Well, let's take a look at God's word for that in the Bible. In 2 Corinthians, the Bible tells us if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone and the new is here. Oh no, have you accepted Jesus into your heart? Yes. When I was in third grade, my Sunday school teacher told me that I was loved by God and I believed him and asked Jesus into my heart that day. Okay, so where is the sticker that says you're loved by God? Um, let me look. It's got to be here somewhere. I can't seem to find it. And did you also find out in the Bible when you asked Jesus into your heart that he made you completely forgiven? Do you have a sticker for that? Um, I'm sure I must have had one for that at one time or another. I'm, I'm looking now. So the Bible also says, oh no, that you are completely righteous in God's sight. Do you have a sticker that says you're completely righteous? Oh, oh yes, I'm sure I had one of those at one time. Hey, how come all these bad ones are up on top and buried all the good ones God says about me? It seems like there are so many labels, but the good ones got buried by the bad ones. Mm, well, that can be true, oh no. That's why it's so important to focus on what God says about us, not what others say about us, and not even what we say about ourselves. But what's really important is that God, what God says about us. You mean... I don't have to keep all these other labels just because somebody says that about me? Or I dare say it about myself? I can take off these stickers? You sure can, oh no. And when you focus on what God says about us, it makes it easier to find out who you really are. But things change. Like me not playing soccer anymore, not being a goalie, well, God's labels for me change also? Oh, no, no, that's the great thing. The Bible says that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So what he says about us never changes. And he says things like, we are forgiven, we're loved, we're set apart from the world. But the most important thing, oh no, is that we are chil his children. And that means when we have Jesus in our hearts, we get to be with him forever and ever. So, these other labels that people try and put on me, or I try and put on myself, don't even really matter. What really matters is what God says about me, right? That's right, oh no. But, I've had some of these labels on me for so long, I'm just used to having them. And, I actually like some of them. Yes, oh no, I'm sure that's true. But just like it's not good for you to be walking around with all these stickers on your body, it's not good for you to be walking around in this world with the wrong identity of yourself. What's really important here is the label that's inside your heart. The label, This label replaces all those labels, the bad ones, the good ones, because it's replaced with the best one. And that label is Child of God. You know, that really is the best label I would want to wear. And the best identity that I would want to have. I think I will get rid of all these old identity stickers and focus on the one true identity. Hello, my name is Ono, Child of God. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hello, Ono. My name is Lena Marie, and I am also a Child of God. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Child of the One True King. I can save, I can change, I have been set free. Amazing Grace is the song I...